Hi, this is Josh Marshall from TPM Media. It's Thursday, July 3rd, 2008. You know, at TPM, we're not only interested in politics of all sorts, but we're also running a small business. So we're always looking for new business models, new clever business models. And we found one of the most interesting and cleverest in a political direct mail firm down in Washington, D.C. called BMW Direct. This story was first reported in the Boston Globe, and this week, TPM Muckraker and TPM Muckraker alum Paul Keel, now ProPublica, have been following up and advancing the story. Now, as near as we can tell, BMW Direct has a two-tiered business model. The first tier is raising money by direct mail for actual bona fide Republican office holders, people like Virgil Goode of Virginia, Jeff Davis of Kentucky, and even an old uh, TPM favorite. Uh, David Vitter of Louisiana. Now, as you'd probably expect with direct mail political fundraising, uh, the candidates pay BMW Direct for their services and they end up with more money at the end of the process. Usually they pay 40 to 50 percent of the proceeds back to BMW Direct for their services. Now, as I said, BMW Direct also has a second line of work, and that is going out and finding or actually recruiting Potemkin bogus candidates who have no chance at all and who they raise money for but basically keep all of it. Now, let's take a look at one of BMW Direct's clients in the second category, Deborah Honeycutt. She's running against David Scott down in Georgia's 13th district. Now, in 2006, she ran against him, the incumbent, and lost by a highly impressive 38 points. Now, after getting her clock cleaned like that, you might think that Deborah would have thought it was time to hang up the political gloves. Maybe it's not the line of work that she's really going to excel in. But actually, she's back this year and is one of the highest fundraising candidates in the entire country. She, through the help of BMW Direct, has managed to raise $1.7 million for her candidacy. Now, we took a look at the numbers, and that $1.7 million number makes Hunnicutt either the one of the best fundraisers in this entire cycle, or actually the best, the person who's raised more money than any other challenger for a house race. Now, with all that, you might be thinking like, wow, she's spending, you know, David Scott's gonna get his run for money this time. But it turns out the amount of money they've actually spent on campaigning uh, is, is rather less than you might think with that bountiful haul of, of $1.7 million. It turns out that so far, Hunnicutt has only spent just a little under $17,000 actually running her race in the state of Georgia. And even by, by my poor math skills, that sounds like she spent 1% of the money that she's actually raised. So, you know, is she just like building up the war chest, gonna come at David Scott like out of the blue at the last moment? Not necessarily, because of that 1.7 million, so far BMW Direct and its affiliates have taken back 1.5 million. Now you might think that Hanukkah, being one of the best fundraisers in the entire country this year, would be looking at BMW Direct and saying, you know, guys, I, I think you might be taking a slightly slightly bigger cut than you're entitled to, but it turns out that's not the case at all. We talked to Honeycutt's volunteer campaign manager, Michael Murphy, and he told us, we've been very pleased with them. BMW Direct has been able to help us raise resources and tap into a thirst in the country for the principles and platforms that she stands for. When we asked about, you know, what do you think about not getting into the money they raise, he said, I just work with the resources we have. All I can say is we've been very pleased with BMW Direct. Now, when we looked at the fundraising data, and this probably won't surprise you, it turns out that most of this money has been raised from retired right-wing dupes, basically, who can be convinced to give some of their hard-earned retirement money to campaigns that, in, for all practical purposes, don't even exist. And as you can see, having clients like Honeycutt and Murphy, who are either as dumb as a post, or who don't care that their contributors are being fleeced by BMW Direct, that's a big advantage, too. Now, Honeycutt isn't the only one. You've also got a lot of other candidates who are pretty much in the same boat. You've got Ada Fisher from back in in 2006, uh, who you know, gave the same, about the same amount of money back to BMW Direct. This year, you have Dwayne Sand, again, about, about the same story. Now, this week, BMW Direct has been getting a lot of unwanted attention in the media world. And on Tuesday, Keith Olbermann spotlighted the company in his worst person in the world category. And our winner, BMW Direct, a direct mail firm in Washington, D.C., tpmmuckraker.com reports it has been, or it helped, Conservative Deborah Honeycutt raised $1,700,000 for her second challenge to Democratic Congressman David Scott of Georgia. BMW Direct adapting the plot of the producers for the political stage, today's worst persons in the world. 
So why is BMW Direct getting all this unwanted attention? According to Jordan Gerke of BMW Direct, that's just the price you pay when you are an outspoken conservative living in a world dominated by the liberal media. When TPM alum Paul Keel, now of ProPublica, caught up with Gerke, Gerke told him, we raise a lot of money for Republican candidates and we do it very well and very effectively. We say things are controversial and when you do that, you're going to make some enemies. In any case, we here at TPM give Gerke credit for fighting the good fight, and we're going to keep looking into this story. I'm Josh Marshall from TPM Media, and we'll talk to you next week.